Hi, I'm Andy Glass with Glass Impressions. I had a French cleat system on the front of these cabinet doors and it worked okay, but I recently saw one of Izzy Swan's videos and how he used Kaizen foam to hold tools on his wall. I thought I'd imply that idea to these cabinet doors. Stick around, hope you enjoy. This video is sponsored by Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. Create with confidence. I start by removing all the tools from the tool rack and then the tool racks themselves. I then rip strips of red oak the thickness of the Kaizen foam. I measure each cabinet door so I can cut my parts to the appropriate length. I set the stop blocks up at the miter saw station and cut all the parts to their lengths. Once all the parts are cut to length, I head over to my pocket hole machine and drill a single pocket hole in each rail. I use my assembly table by Rockler to assemble the frames. The appropriate stops and clamps make this process very easy. The best thing about Kaizen foam is it can be cut on the table saw. I apply a matching stain to the existing cabinets. While the frames dry, I can lay out the tools on the Kaizen foam and prepare to make the appropriate cutouts. Once the layout has been established, use the long nose tracing pen to trace your object. During the tracing process, it's very important to keep the pen perpendicular to the surface. Set the depth of your razor blade to the depth you'd like the foam to be extracted and trace inside the marked line for a tight fit. Reach in with a couple fingers and remove the foam. Very easy and very fast. When selecting the depth of your razor blade, try to match the eighth inch increments that the layer of foam is glued together. This will make the foam removal process much easier. Now that the frames are dry, I can mount them to my cabinet doors. I clamp a cleat to the bottom of the door to hold up the frame, and I drive screws through the cabinet door into the frame to hold it in place. Once it is secure, I can set the foam in place. I will note that I did drive a few coarse threaded screws through the back of the door into the foam just to hold the middle parts in place. This worked very well. I hope this project inspired you to get your shop more organized and to rethink the way you look at the front of those cabinets. Take back your wall space. If you're interested in the Kaizen foam product, I do have a giveaway going on my website. Please click this video up here to learn more. Thanks for watching. See you next time.